Hello, George. This is Dave from ChiefTutor.com. Thanks for sending in your plan. You were talking about how best to do a railing, and I noticed that you um, built this guy individually. It looks like piece by piece, and that's one way to do it. Of course, it does take a long time, but it gets you kind of exactly what you want, right? It was just a, a lot of work, right? That's kind of tough for you. <laughs> Trust me, I've been there, done that. So let me show you what I would have done a little bit easier way as well as um, it's kind of um well let's just show you what i would do i'm gonna go ahead and put in a whole new set of stairs i'm gonna leave yours exactly as it is and we'll use this set of stairs to try to duplicate that set of stairs so specifically you had a neat little railing going up the side so we want to make that railing for this side as well as if we leave the railing intact and we are able to implement our railing on our stair we can then tell chief architect to change the handrail out so we don't have to custom make a uh, what you did is 3D molding and elevation view, which uh, can be a little tricky at times. So let's go ahead and do this the old fashioned way. I'm going to start a new um, template because I want to build my custom railing. I'm going to use a wall as a reference so I can do an elevation view. So I just drew a simple wall and I'm going to take an elevation view of that wall. And then I'm going to use my polyline solid to draw my first rail. And I want my first rail to be about one inch um not one foot let's try one inch <laughs> there we go by about let's say 32 inches something in height something like that so i like that i'm going to open it up and it is one thick and it's one wide so that's where i want it i'm going to copy and paste in place the exact same thing and i'm just going to kind of move it over to where i think it would be a good separation for it uh, then i'm going to select both of them by holding down shift i can select both of them now and open them up and I can go into my materials and poly, uh, polyline solid color and say select a material, select a different color. If I want to plan material, I can come down here to color white and make sure they're the white color and there we go. Now what I need to do is kind of put a little base on them as well because I want to separate these two from the others to look a lot like yours because you have this nice little two railing then a separation of about four inches and then two railing again so it's a nice little combination there so we're trying to pick up that concept to do that i'm going to use uh, another tool so first i'm going to delete the wall come back to my plan there's my two little rails and now i'm going to start drawing in another mode let's to a countertop because we can use anything in chief which is great and i'm just going to draw a countertop kind of over the top of those and uh, about yay far and I want it a little wider than those two. So I'm going to make it just like that and kind of center it up the two. Now, see the distance between this rail and here and the distance between here and here is about even. That's the way I want to kind of keep it. So this way, if it uh, copies it, if Chief starts copying it side by side by side to make my rail, that it has to travel this distance and this distance before these two uh, start to combine so it should be shorter than that distance so just to confirm I might want to pull these in just a little bit closer and again you can readjust these as you go because you might need to do it a few times but let's say something like that I'm gonna maybe try to center it more on the piece I'm just eyeballing it I mean you can get exact with the dimensions if you'd like so um, there's the countertop let's go back to the elevation view and let's drag that piece to the bottom we're going to put this at the bottom base and uh, try to get it right on the bottom piece. And then it doesn't have to be very tall, so I'm going to bring it down to about that thick. Okay, there we go. Now let's look at this in a 3D view. I can see the whole thing. Now I like the colors different here, and these two are white, and I'll explain why in a little bit. But let's leave that as it is. Go to File, go to Export, and let's export our 3D model. And you have to do this in the 3D view. Oops, I chose the wrong one. File, export, export 3D model 3DS. That's what we want. So this pops up and says, hey, do you want to export it? Yeah, I want to export it. So you hit export. Oh, what do you want to call it? Let's call it Dave's Railing 001 and hit enter. And that just created it for us. So I can close this window. I can close that window. I'm going to leave this open for now just in case I need to adjust it and go back to my camera view of the stairs. And I'm going to go File and import and I now want to import that 3D symbol so I'm going to come down here to Dave's rail 001 there's one and click OK I want to make sure it's in the millwork department 
so that way it'll fall into the millworks for the stairs and click OK. And there it is. Now let's um, select the stairs, open it up, and we could have just applied it, but I want to show you the basics of it. So if I go down here to railing, I can choose railing to be panels. And I can even increase the panel width of the balusters that hit there. And I'll come up here and we change that to more like uh, 600. So you won't see it. It's just one big long panel. That's kind of what we're after. And we want to select our panel now. So we go to library and we'll go to user catalog and we'll go to uh, Dave's Railing 1.0. There we go. Click OK. And then there's our railing. Another thing we might want to do is in the style of this, maybe do a clothes stringer because that way it looks a little bit better and sits on top, which is nice. It gets a little closer. You can see it's starting to work out nice. Now we can manipulate the handrail because we have a panel. So we can go to rails and we'll notice we have top, middle, and bottom that we can manipulate. Well, we want to manipulate the top. We want to replace to whatever the default is to a handrail. So let's just put in here handrail. And here's one that pops up. Go ahead and right click it and choose show in browser and that'll show all the different handrails you can get uh, for this particular model. You'll find a whole bunch of them under manufacturer catalogs as well. But I'm just going to take this one, let's say. And then I notice it's just not wide enough just yet. So I'm going to come in here to the width and I'm going to increase that to like four. So that it looks a little nicer and click OK. Then I'm going to take my uh, eyedropper, I'm going to scroll in here, and I'm going to make sure that this wood is the bottom countertop color, so that all matches. And then I'm going to take the eyedropper again, click the white, and start painting the other pieces white as well. I think you had, uh, oh, you even had white in here and white here, and then you had the wood steps I see there. So there we go. We've created your steps now in just a few minor steps of making a symbol. And then that symbol could be used as a flat railing or a raised railing like you see in the stairs here. And then just bump it right into this column that you've already built. And that's been Messing with Rails here at ChiefTutor.com. Hope you liked what you watched and you understand what you saw because if you didn't, you could just hit rewind. Thanks for playing. Talk to you guys soon.